Folk Turbine Guy coming back at you. If you remember, we unboxed our Energy 400 watt system to go on top of a camper. We've got the camper right behind us, and boom, we are preparing the modules to go up. First thing you got to do is get the mounting brackets on, just like we're doing. These two over here are set and ready to go. Now we mounted these on the inner hole instead of these outers because of the snow load. The farther you'd mount them out this way, the more the inside has a chance to bend when you get a big snow, which I have seen happen before. In fact, end phase inverters have to be mounted a certain way instead of the other because under heavy snow load, that module will come and go and it'll scrape the bottom of the solar module apart. Now while we're mounting it, we're gonna use some 3M Marine Adhesive Seal in 5200 because this is the best junk on the market. Might wanna buy it on eBay so you get a little better price though. And last but not least, we have to worry about wiring it. And this system comes with doubling up connectors, two into one, two into one, two into one. And what they want you to do, see right here, is have put two together, two together, and then put the two strings together and run them down to the charge controller. There's the wires we run them down with. As you can see, we've already got the connectors on two of these modules ready to go up. All right, up on top of the RV here, we got all four laid out the way we want. We came into a bit of an issue where the wires just don't quite reach there. So we're gonna buy ourselves some one foot extensions for these two modules over here so everything will stretch together and put together nice. The next step is to get some of this 5200 on the bottom of each of those brackets and then bolt the things in. Unique thing about these bolts, they got a nice little rubber seal on the bottom of a, a two to keep the water out. Now the bonus to this 5200 we're putting on, not only is it gonna help seal it a little bit, but this stuff's absolutely gonna completely adhere to the surface of the camper. All right, with a little bit of effort, some Summit and some 5200, we got them all mounted and ready to go. All right, we're up here wiring it together. As you can see, they plugged in like we said to the connectors. We had to get an extension to get over here to make it all work. But more importantly, we drilled the hole up from the bottom so he knew right where to come through where the light already is there. And then I got myself a rubber grommet down in here. Put that on so these wires don't chafe themselves apart. Next thing to do is to put all these together, clamp them down, glue it up with the 5200, and drink a little more beer. <laughs> Some holes in this plastic beforehand so I don't strip anything out or crack the plastic. We got her done. We got it tacked down here, 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 and here. We got them taped together, they're not moving. Drilled some holes, screwed it in, glued and screwed down, tacked down there. I think our wiring is set and complete. Time to work on the inside. We're inside the truck. We got solar up and the wires in. What'd you do next, Jack? Uh, well, we uh, drilled through the bottom to get our hole. We ran the wires across here, through a beam there, down behind the uh, refrigerator into our electrical down here. Um, we've got our 2000 watt inverter mounted right there and tapped into our DC power. You mean your AC power. So that inverter is running off over here. So what do we got here? We've got the charge controller that came with our big old kit. And we've got everything running into bus bars down to our two main batteries. So the solar charge controller has the solar panels running into it. It runs to the bus bar to charge batteries. They also pull off the bus bar to run the inverter. And in that inverter, not only can they plug things in, as you can see, but they're running the AC panel down here. 
Here we go. We got her turned on now. Fired right up. And now you have an off-grid camper. Thanks to everybody, guy.